looking for the process on how to file for your I-765 application for employment authorization, this is a video for you. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. Hello everyone, good day from Central Florida, USA. My name is Emery. I am a J1 teacher with 2 and 2 year rule, now a green card holder. In this video, I am going to show you on how I did my I-765 do-it-yourself process. You can do this via online or you can also do this through mail. Based on my own experience, I did it through mail and this is the process that I did. Disclaimer, I am not an immigration lawyer. I am just an ordinary citizen that came across with the process through the USCIS forms because I need to submit the files for adjusting my status with the I-485 concurrent filing with the I-765 and the I-131. Those are separate documents. You can watch some of my videos regarding that and this is all about the form I-765. This year 2024 starting April 1, they changed the filing fees. So there are two ways to file your forms and there are two different payments as well. I preferred doing it through mail because that's convenient for me but if you want to have less amount to pay and do it online then you can. First process we have to do is to always make sure that you have the newest form. That means it's not yet expired. Then you also have to start where it says start here and use a black ink. Since this is my initial application, then I had to check the box where it is intended for me. Look at your situation. This is a case-to-case -case basis. Every case is unique, so make sure you answer it on your own based on your own situation. If you feel like you don't have to answer some of these, then make sure to put NA in each of the boxes. This is how it looks like on page 2. If you have an A number or an alien number, then put it there. But if not, just leave it blank or NA. It might go with your I-485 or any other document that you submitted with the USCIS. So just make sure that you filled the right box. If you were given an SSN, then that's good. As J1 teachers, we have to have our SSN or social security number once we landed here in the United States of America. Then if you wanted to change your SSN to your married name, then check the box yes. That way they can give you your SSN with your married name once the process is already ongoing and they grant you your I-765 or EAD which we call work permit. Page 3. This is how it looks like on my paper. You can pause anytime if you wanted to see the details which I have there. The yellow highlighted ones are for you to fill out because that's your information and the reason why I put here C9 is because I would like to adjust through my U.S. citizen spouse and this is with me already filing the I-485. So I-485, I-765, and I-131 goes hand in hand. During 2021, it's free to file the I-765 together with the I-131 if you had submitted the I-485. It's called concurrent filing. That means you submit your I-485 adjust status, concurrent filing with I-765 work permit, and the I-131, which is a travel document. Since I am a J-1 teacher, I put their J-1, and I landed here in the U.S. with San Francisco, California Airport, or SFO. Some details you can find there with your I-95. Just make sure you have the most recent one. Also, make sure to read the instruction with the I-765 PDF because there are certain points that 
might differ when it comes to my application to your application. They somehow changed a little bit this form since 2021, so make sure you answer it correctly. Page four, this is very important because you as an applicant has to put your name or signature and at the same time the date. So most of the time, this is missed by some people, so don't ever do that or else they're going to return the whole packet that you're going to have, including your form and I don't know if they're going to return your money as well. So make sure that you submit it properly. We submitted one time and it was approved, so I'm really hoping you do the same. Page 5, this is where you have to put if you have an interpreter or a preparer just like immigration lawyer you can really ask for legal advice again i am not an immigration lawyer i am just an ordinary person who somehow got the green card through do-it-yourself process and this is my way of sharing the ideas i have with you because i really wanted to help out and this is also my way of giving back to my community as part of my advocacy and my promise to God. This is the preparer's statement, which if you have an attorney, they're going to provide a G-28 form that they're going to have to submit together with your papers. There are immigration lawyers that are going to help you along the way. Just make sure they are legit and they already had been into the process of J-1 waivers. That way, they really have to provide and care for you because this is a very long process. It took us almost two years to process everything, but when it comes to my I-765, it's gonna be a few months as long as you are married to a U.S. citizen. Page seven, if you have additional information, then put it there. Make sure that if it's not applicable to you, then put N slash A. With this form, you have to put your evidences. Again, read the PDF and making sure everything is intact. If you wanted to have a cover letter, I have here a sample in our website, powerfulcouplejourney.com, where we show you our process of immigration and the J-1 waiver do-it-yourself process. Join our group, J-1 Waiver Helping Hands, where we are giving insights on how to do it through DIY. Some of our fellow Filipinos and other nationalities have their own lawyers. Then it's really up to you. And make sure that you agree to the group rules and you will be accepted immediately. Thank you so much. If you have gone to this part of the video, please make sure to like, share, comment, on the comment section if you have any other questions and subscribe to this channel that way we can show this to other people that are needing help and they could also be guided and given some information from a fellow Filipino who happened to be a J1 teacher now a green card holder thank you so much everyone and I'll see you in my next video good bless